friends of the internet. <laughs> I'm just getting ready to go out and do some work with Spike. Um, so that's really exciting. So I thought that I might vlog it because why not? I haven't done a vlog for a very long time. So I thought I would do that and bring you guys along and show you what I will be doing today. Um, it is really hot here today. Uh, it's, I don't even know how hot it is. It's really hot. Um, so I'm probably going to leave uh, a little bit later. It's quarter to four right now. Um, so I'll probably leave in like 15 minutes and then that will get me out there like at, I don't know, it takes like 45 minutes. So at quarter to five if I leave at four. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I will be just doing groundwork with him today. Um, I'm hoping to get the saddle fitter out next week to finish fitting his saddle. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. And so I just wanted to do some groundwork with him today and over the next few days, just because he's had like a month off doing anything over Christmas and I don't particularly want to be uh, riding him and testing out his new saddle when he's had so long off. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll probably just do some round pen work with him and then probably some desensitizing. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure what else. We'll see how he, um, he feels when I get there. Um, if you follow me on social media, you would probably know, or well, Instagram, you would know that um, he's just sort of getting over a bout of colic. Um, he colicked on, I think it was like the 2nd of January. Um, and there was sort of nearly a 24 hour period where we were monitoring him and just giving him um, injections. Um, but we still had to get the bed out and she had to tube him and give him drugs. I can't remember what they were, but she gave him drugs and electrolytes. Um, and then he sort of came good sort of the next, well that afternoon, but he was sort of back to himself that next morning. So he's um, had that extra week off because of that. So um, yeah, so we'll just wing it today and kind of see how it goes and I'll play it by ear and if, you know, he doesn't look which I'm sure he will, I'm sure he'll be fine, but I think it's just me worrying because he's never really had colic before, so I just want to make sure that he's okay. So yeah, I'm going to do that, but I want to show you guys a couple of things because I'm really excited. I went to Kmart this morning and picked up a couple of things which are kind of not horsey related, obviously, because I came from Kmart, but they are for my vlogs. So the first thing that I got was this thing here which like sticks to the oh it's got something on it sticks to the glass um like the window of your car and you can put your phone on it so i'll be able to vlog in the car um you know because that's cool who doesn't want to do that so there's that and um i don't always have someone to help me film when i'm out at spike so i bought this tiny little tripod for my camera which is really cool so i can just like set it up somewhere i don't know um, when I'm working with him or doing anything and yeah, I would be able to vlog properly um, when I'm out there with him, which I haven't been able to unless I've had someone with me. So that's exciting. Uh, yeah, so I'll just go and get all his stuff ready now to um, head out there and I'll probably see you guys either in the car or when I get there. Hi guys, so I'm just in my car and I'm heading out to uh, see Spike. Um, the time is 4.30. I left home a little bit later than I thought I would um, because I got sidetracked by YouTube um, and watching other people's videos. So yeah, I did that instead of leaving when I was supposed to. Which is fine because um, it's still really hot. And that shadow is like my um, freaking air freshener. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about that actually. I might just take it off because that's going to be really annoying. Um, it's a cowboy hat. So yeah, so I'm just heading out to see Spike now and it is really hot still. I don't know how hot it is, but it is really freaking hot. And um, I don't know how much I'm going to get done with him because like I said, it's hot and I don't really like to work in when it's really hot just because, I don't know, it, it just doesn't, I don't think I'd like to be like running around and stuff in the heat. Um, so like, why should I make him do it? Um, and I know that there are lots of people out there, especially in Australia, who um, work 
work their horses in the heat um, because they have to, because that's their job or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I don't really work him all that often anyway. So to pull him out of the paddock on a day where it's like mid to high 30s and expect him to work just seems a bit unfair to me. So yeah, I might do a little bit of work with him. Um, maybe just some groundwork stuff. Um, I may not do any booking on today just because of the weather. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. It might be cool when I get out there because it's 45 minutes away as well. So. Hopefully it will have cooled down a little bit by then, um, but yeah, so I suppose that I will just see you guys when I...